Hi, welcome back to my channel, So Very Domestic. I'm May, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make your own control journal. A quick disclaimer before I get into it, I do not do the Filady system like properly. My friend Vanessa introduced me to the Filady system in 2001, so I've been doing the system for a very, very long time, and I've kind of been adapting it uh, over the years to kind of just like what makes more sense for me to do in my life anyway. Um, so my old control journal had all the things that she suggested in it and I'm gonna tell you about that as I'm going over. Like I'm gonna show you what um, she recommends you do and then I'm gonna show you what I've done and just show you the differences between the two. The only other thing that I wanna mention before we get into it is the zone cleaning. Basically, Fility has you break up your home into five areas. And it's been really funny for us because we've lived in a lot of different places in these last, you know, 16 plus years. Um, so we've had, you know, a thousand square foot three bedroom homes and we've had 4,000 square foot six bedroom homes and kind of everything in between and even a couple things a little smaller and now we're kind of in like a mid-range um, but however big or small your home is you break it up into uh, five areas and they become your five zones and then the reason she does five is because you cover a zone every week of the month and I recognize there are four weeks in the month but you have that weird staggering week usually so most months you cover all five areas of your home um, and of course all the big stuff happens in your morning and evening routines so I don't like doing that because for example that would mean that like all these bookshelves back here I dust them once a week and they really need to be dusted once a week. And I mean, I take everything off and I wipe them all down and put them all back on. It's not really dusting, but like wiping all these shelves and all the stuff that's on them. And if I didn't do that once a week, they're literally like you could put your finger on it and like pick up the dust on your finger. So the way her system works, I would really only be doing this once a month and um, they need to be done more often than that. So back in the day, I did them once a month and that lasted for... I don't know, a number of years anyway, I followed the system exactly the way that it should be followed until I started tweaking with it. I started having more kids, they started getting older, we started homeschooling, life is different now. Um, and so I break down my home into five zones as well, but I do a different zone every day. And I, I will show you that when I get into my control journal. It is not as crazy as it sounds, I promise, because you're not really doing each thing on the list every day. You're just kind of checking out, like, do I need to do this or do I not need to do this? So like wiping down these bookshelves yes i always need to do that but like cleaning the vent in the hallway no i don't always need to do that so it really just depends on um you know whatever it is that you're doing you don't necessarily need to actually do all of the things so yeah now first i'm going to show you uh the way the fly lady does it and then i'm going to show you the way that i've done it just for reference, I want to show you Fly Lady's official guide to creating your control journal. Just so you can see the differences between the way Fly Lady has you set it up and the way that I have altered it over the years. I did make a control journal exactly like this back in 2001. Um, and some I'll tell you my additions in just a moment. So here's what she suggests. You've got one tab with your daily routines and reminders, a tab with your basic weekly plan, and we'll come back to that in just a second a tab for your menus and grocery lists, a tab for your address book, a personal section tab, an emergency numbers tab, and then additional dividers for your own personal sections. So when I originally made mine so many years ago, like 16 years ago, I had all of these things in there as well as 12 monthly calendar pages. Um, and then I had kind of jot down, I did have a separate planner, but I used it for like month at a glance type planning. And now I organize it a lot differently just because I feel like things like the address book are really redundant given where we are technology wise in the world right now. And I'll get into how I do this a little bit differently in just a moment. But first I wanna show you what exactly this basic weekly plan is. So here's Fly Lady's basic weekly plan. And again, like she even says in here, like just do it however you want to do it. But her Monday is the weekly home blessing, which is her one hour um, of cleaning uh, during the week. And that doesn't mean she only cleans for that hour. I will um, put a little link here for you to see uh, of the first Flylady like intro video that I did that kind of explains exactly how you're supposed to go about doing everything in her system. Uh, but there is one hour where you're doing this kind of cleaning. And so these seven items are the things that she does throughout her whole home um, in order to, you know, keep it up. So that's what she does on Monday. 
Tuesday's a free day. We are spending time doing some decluttering. Wednesday is zone cleaning and a partial desk day. And again, like she has her specific things that she does on her desk day. Thursday is grocery and errand day, and she has her very specific errands. Friday's paperwork and misky things, clean out your purse, just that kind of stuff. Um, and then the weekends, Friday's date night, Saturday's family fun day, and Sunday is renew your spirit day. So that's her, oh, sorry. And then down here, she kind of gives you um, weekly checklists for how you're going to make this um, basic weekly plan. So it's up here, basic weekly plan, and then it runs through it, and then it has a weekly checklist. And these were these are just her suggestions to help you make your own basic weekly plan. But obviously, these lists are very personal and going to be very, very different for you depending on your home because everybody's house or apartment or condo or townhouse or whatever is totally different. We all have different rooms and nooks and crannies and things to deal with whatever. So these lists are just a guideline um, and yours are going to be whatever yours are going to be like. And now I'm going to show you um, my control journal. This is my basic control journal. Um, mine is a three ring binder, obviously. You have so many different options for things you can use, but I have used, I've always used a three ring binder. But anything that'll keep all your papers together is fine. Um, and as I mentioned before, my control journal used to include so much more in my life and it used to be so thick. Um, and now it has sections for my routines, my zones, which I do daily, and I'll touch on that in just a second, my recipes knitting and emergency contacts. So uh, my routines, literally, there's just two pieces of paper in here, my morning routine and my evening routine. And I'll give you a little peek at that, just like what I do first, first thing every morning. And then once I made it out to the kitchen um, and then already what, you know, what's happening um, after I've checked my planner and know exactly what's going on for the day. And then we homeschool, of course, so this is um, around the time that school is starting and then I have you know my schedule for whatever day of the week it is and then before dinner I do the same thing every day and then after dinner this is my after dinner routine so this takes me straight from clearing the table and stuff all the way through till um, I'm ready to you know go edit videos or do whatever in the home office so those are my morning and evening routines. And I feel like this, these two pages are the most important things to get down before you do anything else. Um, and if you're, if you're controlled, like when I started, my control journal was literally just two pages. They look completely different. We weren't homeschooling. I only had one kid. Um, so life obviously was a lot different than it is now homeschooling three kids. But those two pages, your morning and evening routine are easily the most important. Then we move on to um, zones and daily time. And I'll just like pick a random Here's zone three. So the zones I do um, are pretty much in accordance with what Fly Lady's zones are. But the reason that I can't really do it exactly the way that she does it is that I I just can't do like um, this stuff, like all of the things that I want to have done in each room. If you follow the Fly Lady system, you're basically hitting each of these things once a month. And I don't want to hit them once a month. I want to do them um, once a week. And it's not that I love cleaning because I honestly don't, but I just feel like, okay, let's, let's look at this as a random example. Okay. So zone three, main bathroom and the school room, the official, uh, the official note on the fly Lady website is main bathroom and one other room. And so I chose the school room as our one other room. So in the main bathroom, wipe the switch plate on the walls. That takes seconds and cleaning the vent. I don't need to clean the vent every week, but I should look at it every week and just like, does this need to be wiped down or no? Usually it doesn't, but I do think it's important to take a peek at it once a week to make sure it doesn't get gross, you know? Dust the baseboards. It helps to take a dryer sheet and dust these once a week because then there's never any crud on them. Uh, scrub counter, sink, and bathtub. That usually should be done once a week. Toilet, same thing. Although I do, like, in my morning routine, the little, like, swish of the toilet every morning. Um, but, like, actually cleaning the whole thing like the tank and the little part in between the seat and the tank, you know, um, that happens once a week, the cabinet front, tidy the cabinet. Like usually I open the cabinet and because I hit it the week before, it's still tidy. I don't really need to do anything to it. But again, I should look 
you know, uh, sweep and wash floor. So sweeping happens every day, but I mean, giving it a mopping, um, once a week is only a good thing, right? I tend to actually wash it more often than that. Um, but at least once a week. So the same applies for a lot of this stuff. Like these things do not need to be done every single week, but they do need to be looked at. Like straighten office boxes, etc., and closet. I have not had to do that in months, but every week I go look at it. And I don't need to straighten them, so I leave it alone. Occasionally, my husband will come through and maybe make a mess and not put it back quite as I would have put it back. So I'll do that. Or maybe I went in there and made a mess and didn't quite put it back as I should have put it back. But then I will, obviously, um, on Thursdays when I'm in zone four. Okay, so um, same thing with the kids' room. And I'll note, I'm not going to talk about kids' chores in this video. But my kids have their own chores that even involve some of these things. But this is like my weekly list that I look at. So part of it is, yes, checking up on what they've done. So it's important for them, for example, to wash the window in their room. Like, yes, I want them to do that, have the responsibility of doing that, have the practice of doing that. But I'm also still probably going to go in there and take care of myself once a week as well, um, just to make sure that it is actually tidy. You know what I mean? So that kind of applies to everything, like wash the blinds. I do not need to do that every week, but I do kind of spot clean them. Um, when the need arises. So it's good. Sometimes things on this list are not things that need to be done every week so much as they just need to be looked at. And then my Saturday and Sunday, I kind of don't really mark Saturday and Sunday, um, but I have a desk day and a yard day. And on my desk day, I just like, you know, pay my bills, balance my budget, update my spreadsheets, and do my menu planning, which is also why Yes, there's a recipe tab, but there isn't really a menu planning tab. These are mostly recipes that like I printed out and don't want to lose because again, I'm way more digital now than I was. And so, um, all my recipes exist on Pinterest and I have like the secret Pinterest boards, like for each week, which maybe I'll do a menu planning video and talk about how I plan my menu with Pinterest and stuff. But anyway, so that's kind of like a sidebar, but um, my menu planning, I basically just like assign meals to each day. And then I check the pantry and the freezer to see if I have what I need. And then I make the list of stuff that I need and then I order my groceries because thankfully I have that opportunity. Um, pretty much anywhere you are, unless you're super, super rural, you at least have the Walmart grocery pickup option. Um, but if you live in a major city, then you likely also have Instacart or maybe Prime now from Amazon, or there's different kinds of grocery delivery places popping up all over the place. And yard day, again, a lot of the stuff does not really need to be done every week, but it is worth looking at. We have a really obnoxious eucalyptus tree in the backyard. It smells amazing and drops leaves all year long, which is, you know, the blessing and the curse of Southern California that it never, ever, like raking is never a thing that goes away. Um, and the tree kind of grows like big chunks of eucalyptus leaves at the bottom of it too. So... These things don't need to be done every single week, but they do need to be like checked. I would say that raking sometimes of the year does need to be done every week. Pruning the tree doesn't, but checking on it should, you know, and the same thing for the patio it definitely needs to be swept once a week for sure. Um, and the grill usually needs to be wiped down, but the chair area, the bike area, like all that stuff is usually fine. It does not really need to be tended to every single week. And then we have recipe which I mentioned again it's kind of redundant because like these are just things that I've printed out um, that I already have on Pinterest and then knitting I will print things out because you need it I mean I don't know if you do but but when I'm knitting I need the pattern in front of me um, and so I often will like print out stuff that I know I'm going to uh, want to do when it's time for the next big project like the next sock or whatever and so I just kind of leave them printed out in here and then I pull them out and stick them on a clipboard when I'm ready to actually knit them and then I'm not going to show you my emergency numbers because none of your beeswax um but anyway yeah so that's my basic control journal and again I just want to reiterate that I really feel like doing um your evening and morning routines is the most most important thing and then the zone cleaning is easily a close second so i hope that that was helpful to you either uh doing it the way the fly lady has suggested doing it the way that i have suggested or maybe uh making your own which is the whole point of it right make your own kind of hybrid of whatever way putting together a control journal would work for you just remember to include your morning and evening routines 
break your house up into zones and and work on your zones as well and then you decide because some zone things like I said do not need to be done every week but maybe you're worth checking on every week maybe there are other things that I you know I don't have in my house that you have in your house that need to be looked at more frequently less frequently whatever you can certainly add a seasonal list to your uh, control journal so that you look at things just a few times a year like um, you know uh, furnace uh, filters and things like that I kind of space on that because Chris always deals with that so but if that's something that you deal with then you're gonna to want to put that in your journal so um, yeah let me know if this is helpful to you I would love to know uh, if you follow the fly lady system if you have have made a control journal if you're thinking about making one and if you do make one I would love to see how you put it together what kinds of things you included what you decided you didn't need to include and I'm really genuinely curious to see how other people set theirs up if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up to show some support and if you haven't already I'd love if you would subscribe to my channel to keep getting these updates thanks bye